in body tech, gym shoes. We're gonna make better shoe choices, real, real easy. I cut hair in a shop in gym shoes. I do hair shows in gym shoes. I don't own anything other than gym shoes anymore. I'm too old for this. And I don't care what you're dressing like, I don't care what your clothing, what your look is like. There's a pair of gym shoes that'll look just fine with it. And nobody's really looking anyways or cares because if we're protecting our back and we're protecting our lower body and we're on our feet all day, I think we need to start making better shoe choices. And if they're not fashionable enough, fashion can go out the window in favor of function and health. Okay, One and two. I have a question on the shoes because everyone tells me that dance girls are the best thing under the sun for okay. us. Is that something, I mean, you probably don't wear them. Like, Clearly. The, women in the, room the answer is if you go online and you look at like um, Hairstylist Education Forum or any of the Facebook groups in this, yeah. every once in a while somebody chimes in with, hey, my back is killing me, I need better shoes, what do you like? And as many people as answer is as many different shoe choices as you get. This one's going dance go, this one's going sketchers, this one's going I wear ballet flats. Probably the single worst thing you could ever wear that have zero support whatsoever. Next one's going I love my Uggs and I'm sitting here going podiatrists have said that Uggs are the worst thing a human can ever wear anywhere. It's so very uniquely personal and specific. You know, I cut hair for years in, in penny loafers that have like a leather sole on a concrete floor. That's one of the worst things you could possibly wear in terms of comfort and durability, but yeah, gym shoes. I'm too. Find a pair of gym shoes. Go to, go to a store like a New Balance where they have people trained in proper measuring and fitting and things like that. You know, I, I'm training for a triathlon right now. My knees and my feet are over 50 years old. You don't just buy a pair of gym shoes and pay less. Right. You get fitted by somebody specifically. I paid a lot of money for a pair of gym shoes, but those gym shoes will allow me to run in a healthy way, farther, longer, and with less damage. And at this point in my life, that's more important. You know, I want to run, and if I want to run, I'm going to have to focus on some right. of this stuff. Absolutely. Question here? Um, I was more of a comment. I was going to say I wear these shoes called Z Coil. Have I've seen them. Yeah. What are they called? They're amazing. Z Coil. There's a Z -coil spring. It's a spring in the bottom. Yeah. And it absorbs 50% of the impact of standing up and walking. Yeah. Do you wear hunting pads? What's that? Do you wear hunting pads? Do you wear hunting pads? Now the chair mat's an important part of that. When you buy a floor mat for under your chair, spend 300 bucks on a floor mat. A $99 floor mat's a piece of crap. A $300 floor mat's going to contain a 10-year warranty. That way if it chips, cracks, peels, or breaks at seven years old, they're going to give you credit for, it's like a car battery that's prorated, they're going to give you credit for the three years you didn't use. 30-year career, that's three floor mats, three, six, nine hundred bucks. You have a choice. You can spend $900 on a quality floor mat, or you can spend $900 on Advil, orthopedic shoe inserts, chiropractor adjustments, you know, cortisone injections. You're going to spend the money one way, doctor's office co-pays. You're going to spend the money one way or the other. It would be better to spend it on the floor mat.